and girls, look, can you guess what this is? That's right, it's a lemon. And I can't wait to make some yummy lemonade later. But before I do that, let's go over our Bible verse, okay? Okay, let's do it together. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. Let's try it again. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. That was great. You know, boys and girls, I think I'm going to win and make some yummy lemonade. So, until next time, don't forget, Miss Alice loves you, but Jesus loves you more. Bye! Yep, yep, yep. I get scared sometimes, so I cover my eyes, but that's so silly, cause God is always with me, so I stand up tall, stand up tall. remember he is strong. missing the most important thing, the lemonade. It all started a few minutes ago when Poppy and I were getting set up. Poppy, watch out! Ah! The good news is Poppy's okay. The bad news is she spilled all the lemonade on me! I feel kind of mad, a little sad, and a little bit frustrated. We've been working so hard! 
hard. Now what are we supposed to do? Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who? Who? What's got you feeling so blue? Hi, Ollie. Poppy tripped and spilled all the lemonade on me. Now we don't have any lemonade. Kai, that is hard. It's true. I've got the perfect story for you. Just listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Oh, hi friends, I'm Justin the Mailman. Look at this postcard a father is sending to his son. It's got a big heart and it says, I love you. Aw, isn't that sweet? It reminds me of a story. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Okay. So today's true story from the Bible is actually a story that Jesus told so we would know that God loves us no matter what. It's about a father and a son. One day, the son asked his dad if he could have a lot of money that his dad was saving for him to have when he was much older. The dad gave him the money. The son took the money and went far away. He spent his money on everything. He bought clothes and toys and fancy food. He kept spending his money until it was all gone. Everyone say, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. All his money was gone and he was all alone. He didn't have a house or money or food. In fact, at one point, he even wanted to eat pig's food. Ugh. The son knew he had made bad choices, and he was very sorry. He wanted to go back to his dad and tell him how sorry he was. He decided to go back home. When his dad saw him coming, his dad ran down the road to hug him. His dad forgave him. He loved him. Nothing could ever change that. And do you know what? God loves you the same way the father in the story loved his son. God will never, ever, ever stop loving you. He loves you no matter what. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God loves you no matter what. So we can love each other too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! What a great story. We are so special to God that He loves us no matter what. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. You know what? I can still love Pop even though she spilled the lemonade. We can always make more. I'm gonna go check on her now. See you guys next time, goodbye. Hello, Sci Life Kids. It's Miss Alice again. Did you have a great time listening to the lesson? where we're going to do a little bit of a lesson review. Are you ready? Okay. But before we do that, let's go over our Bible verse. Say it together. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. Now, when I say who loves you, I want you to say God loves me. Okay, let's try it together. When I say, who loves you? That's right, God loves me. Well, boys and girls, we're gonna get ready to get into our lesson. Our lesson comes from the book of Luke. Can you say Luke? That's right. And it is a lesson about a father and a son. Now the son asks his dad, 
for a lot of something that the dad was saving for the son when he was much older. Do you remember what it is? Was it candy? No, it wasn't candy. Was it puppies? Of course not, it wasn't puppies. It was money. So the dad gave the son all the money that he was saving for him when he was older. And he went to town very far away and started spending all his money. He bought all sorts of things. He bought clothes that he could wear. He bought all sorts of food. And he even bought lots and lots of toys. Boys and girls, he spent all his money until he realized he had nothing left. In fact, it was so bad that at one point he had to go eat food with the pigs. Isn't that gross? Well, boys and girls, at one point he decided, I can't live like this. I'm just going to go back to my dad and ask him to please forgive me. So he decided to go back home. And on his way home, he was wondering how his dad would react. What do you think his dad did? Do you remember? Did he put a stop sign in front of the house and tell him not to come? No. Did he hide behind a bush because he didn't want to see his son? Of course not. I know. He put on a disguise so his son wouldn't recognize him. No, that's silly. We all know that this dad actually welcomed the son with open arms because he loved him so much, no matter what he had done. Boys and girls, that's exactly how God loves us. It doesn't matter what we do. He will always love us. So when I say, who loves you? I want you to say, God loves me. That's right. Let's do it together. Who loves you? Yes, God loves me. That also thinks of our, uh, makes me think of our Bible verse. Let's do it together. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. One more time, okay? Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. Boys and girls, you all did a great job remembering the lesson. I'm so glad to be able to spend this time with you, but I sure miss seeing you. Remember, Miss Alice loves you very much, but you know what? Jesus loves you even more. <laughs>